Hey guys, DC here, and this is my review of The Other Side for Apple Arcade on Apple TV. So we have the game loading up here. It's either written as The Other Side or just Other Side is what I've noticed. And this game is set up uh, like a like, like, like a board game essentially, board game slash strategy slash RPG. It kind of kind of falls amongst all those categories. So what we're doing right now is we're kind of going through the first stage here. I think this is maybe considered the, the uh, tutorial stage. So it's giving me a breakdown of kind of um, all the actions, the moves that you can take with your characters, kind of the way that the game is set up. So right now we're looking at hero actions. Move, search, gather ammo, attack a creature, search a clue. You know, what else we have here? We have highlights on move and search. You can move your character into this selected zone. You can also search for items within your current zone. This kind of reminds me of when I was growing up, I played Dungeons and Dragons a little bit. Um, and uh, I played it just as a straight up board game and so I'm kind of familiar with some of these actions and kind of the whole concept of this. So I did a search for one of my items here and I uncovered a wrench. So now with the wrench I have to select the slot to put it in. I'll put it next to the uh, revolver here. And then now I'm just kind of getting my bearings here. I can search for ammo. When you do a search for ammo, uh, it just depends on what that dice uh, comes up with when you roll the dice. So I think that's like a one, one six, six headed dice there. So uh, depending on what the number that comes up, that's how much ammo you'll get for that, uh, you know, that roll that turn. Now with the wrench, if I'm not mistaken, you have the ability to destroy doors. And you have the end turn option here. You can end your turn at any time during your, during your roll, um, you know, before you do a complete search of, or even move. So you have that option as far as end turn and you need to make sure you end turn after everything has been exhausted. For, you know, all the actions have been exhausted for that character. So, I'm going to go ahead and do a move, I think, here with the little boy. So I'm selecting the zone I want to move to, and I'll jump over there. And then once I'm in this new zone, I can go ahead and do a search, and that should uncover the revolver for me. So now I just have to choose a slot to put it in. Put it next to the kid's slingshot here. Hopefully he can handle a revolver. It's a little bit of a step up from a slingshot to, to jump to a revolver. So we'll see if he can handle that kickback. I did a roll for ammo. So now we're uh, locked and loaded here. Now a lasher creature has been uncovered. And we'll eventually encounter him uh, a little bit later on here after a few more moves. So the hero basic actions, destroy door, gather ammo. So you're able to destroy the door as well as reinforce the door. I guess if you're trying to play defense here. Yeah, so you can see uh, the wrench has that icon on there that allows you to destroy doors. The revolver doesn't. So you need that wrench to be able to destroy doors. See, I did a search for another you know, item. I'm gonna discard this because I already have a wrench.
Now I'm just kind of exploring the stage, seeing what it looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and try to load up on some ammo since I do see a, a creature out there waiting for us. Go ahead and end my turn. We're gonna go back to the little boy here and I can get him to jump over to zone two. So he has a pretty decent vertical there, as you can see, he's able to jump over walls. Now I don't have the wrench on, on this character here, so I can't destroy the wall. I've already moved. Uh, there's no items that I can see that are available in this room. So more likely I'm just going to do a roll to um, do a roll to go ahead and gain ammo, but yeah, you saw that when I hit the magnifying glass without the bullet in front of it, it just uh, said the zone has already been searched, so. We'll do that into his turn. Okay, it looks like there's no other creatures that have formed, but it, it looks like uh, our lasher has, you know, moved a little bit closer to our door here, so. We are prepared to engage. I'm gonna go ahead and destroy this door. And then I think I'm gonna go ahead and move to that zone that he's in. So we get a, a little bit of a range on the revolver can be used between zero and one zones. Attack dice, number of dice that are rolled to determine if the weapon hits or not. The minimum number that needs to be rolled for the attack to be, to be hit is four. So you can see here, you need a four or higher for uh, damage to be inflicted. When I, when I try to use this revolver on this creature here. in the zone. I get a six there, it looks like, so that's high enough to uh, inflict some damage on our creature here. Go ahead and my turn. Now I'm able to use the revolver, you know, in zero to one zone away, so I'm one zone away. I'm gonna try to see if I can take this thing out with the kid's revolver. So, I'm gonna choose this zone to attack in. I roll, and it looks like it's a zero, but nonetheless, it looks like it did, you know was enough to take out our creature here. So I'm going to go ahead and move. And we're going to do some more exploring of, I guess this is kind of a more of the burnt down, ran down house on the other side here. Now this door is on the is in another zone here, so I can't I can't destroy the door. So it looks like I'll have to move to that zone first before I can you know not knock that door down. So it's down, and again, I can always reinforce, but I don't want to reinforce or block that door. It's down. We're just going to do a little bit of exploring here, gather up the rest of the items on this stage. Now, shadow tiles are those in which the other side is overlapped with the normal world. Creatures can appear to ambush heroes who move within the shadow tiles, so I guess the shadow tiles are kind of like the darker area. Areas on, the, on the board. 
So our next goal here in this stage is to, to find the spirit anchor. some searching within the home here, get what we're looking for, and then we can peace out. Uh, yeah, this game really reminds me of, uh, or, the, or the closest thing I've played to this, rather, would be like the Dungeons and Dragons, like I mentioned before. But again, I was Maybe a child playing that. Growing up, it has the, you know the multi-head dice and things like that. I'm not a big strategy fan, so with this game here, if you if you're a game if you're a fan of the board game slash strategy game type genre, then this would be for you. So this is not your classic sort of action game. Uh, not really an RPG either, you know. It's again, it is kind of the way that this operates is really kind of the fundamentals of you know your classic board slash strategy game. So just keep that in mind. Um, it does it it is uh, it does move a little bit slower, and again there there's a lot more strategy kind of uh, when moving your characters and kind of navigating through this game. So like I said, this is not your classic sort of dungeon crawler or kind of like your, your action RPG it's, 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 it's very um, you know there's a lot of me methodology that kind of goes into a game like this so just keep that in mind uh, but it looks like we were able to find our, our spirit anchor and now we've kind of had these spirit tiles flipped over theoretically here and and um, now they you know this kind of resembles more of a a regular kind of home and kind of a yeah, kind of like not as a, it's, it's not as a, as a random sort of space for us to be to be on you know where we can't get attacked while, while we're kind of uh, you know in this building anymore this room and now they've uh, presented us with the exit tile to get out of the stage so we're going to be moving our characters out of the uh, home here onto the edge exit tile. But yeah, it no longer um, has the same threat once the, the room has, or the, or the building has been converted, the tiles have been converted here. Once we found that anchor. Now, with these revolvers, what I'm doing now, or any other items, I'm just, stat I'm just stashing them now. And uh, yeah, a game like this may not be for everybody. Uh, it's not it's not my cup of tea. But if you are big into the strategy type games, it could be for you. Uh, other strategy games would be like another example would be like Risk. That's a big strategy game uh, slash board game that you may have already played. There's been different renditions of it. Uh, obviously the board game, but also on iOS and. I think Android had, you know, they have their own versions of, of Risk and, and games of that nature, so. Alright, so we get our older guy on the uh, exit tile, and now we're just moving the child over there now. Slowly but surely. Leveling up here, getting some new items, got the flashlight, slippery, we destroyed one spirit anchor. This gives you some more of the controls here, and now this kind of brings us to our title screen. So that's it for my review, hopefully you enjoyed it. I do recommend this for anybody who's into strategy already. But if you're not, this is probably not uh, something that, that's going to excite you. 
be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, you can't win if you don't play.